Well, hello everybody and welcome. Smithy here for another Minecraft Dinosaurs episode and slightly different this time. You can see the graphics, there's no shaders and uh, the graphics aren't looking as super duper as usual. That's because I'm, uh, I've am i sold my old graphics cards and uh, I'm using a temporary one at the moment. An old AMD 6570, which is quite good because I'm getting 30 frames a second. Uh, no mip maps or anything, so I've had to turn the graphics down. But it still looks okay with the faithful textures. So it just proves if you've got a lower spec uh, computer, we can still run all this without the shaders. So this episode, what we're going to do is carry on. Uh, I'm just going to about uh, quickly finish off this design down here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is carry on with the pens. I've just got to put the rest of the pens in. Uh, I'm going to make these slightly different because I'm just going to check out. But these were the big pens, and if I'm correct, uh, these were like smaller pens on this particular size. So uh, I'm just going to have a play around with this particular row here and put some smaller ones in here because I'm right well I'll just go and check the video but uh, I'm trying to think where they run from uh, for some of the smaller ones so uh, we're going to come back once I've got the design right for that particular one so welcome back as the sun goes down over Isla Sauna and uh, I have finished the cages and it's going to be quite easy to do the roof so before I put the roof on though I just wanted to show you the final design I decided that uh, I was going to do some smaller cages on this particular corridor here, which you can see. Uh, all the cages have a, well, these ones have a centerpiece, so I had to individually, rather than make it great big, I had to put in sections at a time using the, uh, using the uh, world edit. And uh, every now and again, what I've done, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I did a bit higher, and you'll be able to see this light up now in the dark. It is difficult with these, I must admit. So let me just do this. Every now and again, I've put an open gateway because I thought to make it a bit more authentic and because there's no dinos in this particular bit. But what I've worked out is this would be the place when they were smaller. So it's the initial place they would place the dinos because you wouldn't be able to keep... Uh, the cages were quite flimsy. These ones are quite flimsy along here, so you wouldn't be able to keep anything of size. They would be trans they would go into these buildings and then also this outside area down here. So what I want to do is just show you how I lit it up. You can see some open gateways. So when you download the map, which we hey, when you download the map, uh, what you better do is come running over here. Here's our favourite little Akilabeta Raptor. Hello. Are you okay? He got in the place for me. Oh, oh. that's a bit weird. Lighting, uh, probably because. Uh, oh, was that lightning? Anyway, hello there. Right, so you come running through here, of course. It'd be good. Imagine if you had lights like that. Maybe it is lightning. So you can come through here, and you can see it's quite well lit to the cages. Some of them are open. Uh, that will go to an outside area but it's going to be locked off so I'm going to make that a door some iron doors and they came running through here but of course it's all lit now because it's 2016 uh, but they've kept the infrastructure and repaired them because these are all pretty good uh, and little kennels here and then the ones I've left down open down here so you can actually walk around them so I'm just going to put the lid on which is quite easy to do because we're using 44 stone slab so all I have to do is click that corner there uh, but I've not finished yet, as you will see. And then put one down on this corner here. And then uh, click that. And it should be able to go. No, I haven't done it. Oh, there we go. Wow. Now that's funny. It actually lights up. That's well cool, eh? So, what am I going to do now? Right, well, I want... Let me just create the... Uh, doorway at this end in fact I need some iron doors really uh, no I'm just gonna make a what I'll do is I'll just put in almost like make it look like they've got some iron doors here it's probably the best way to do that with no doorway yet so I'll have to be careful how to do that just put some light in above 
that so let's put some just put some lighting in the roof actually what I want to do there we go now so it's all lit up but what I wanted to do is I wanted to put in some glass let's just have a look at crystal yeah I've got to look at this new glass a minute let's just go <clears throat> it's glass we're just going to put the white carry on with the light gray blocks there we go we're going to do those so what I'm going to do now is this uh, is put oh, it's just put some as you would have every so many now it's a bit more difficult here yeah that's all right because if I just like wherever that is if I just do this and just do that oh look at that that's good like the moon and then we have some glass like that so it's going to be uniform then probably here uh, and there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this glass in because it gives us daylight when it is daylight and I'll show you what it looks like from outside because the time I finish it uh, we will have daylight back and that will be like the finishing touches to this building so that's the sort of thing you would have in a building like this you'd have these roof lights because it's the cheapest way to put things in so I will continue putting the roof lights in and like here we probably get uh, put four in here well five as I like a little bit of it because it's a long one so what I'll do is oops, I will finish putting the roof lights in and then show you the finished product be back shortly it's looking good though I do like it looks like proper kennels don't it all spick and span as you would have so we're back again daylight is here and it is uh, finally done so let's just go and show you uh, all the roof lights are in what I've done is sort of a design uh, where there's sort of every cross section and when we come to here there's sort of that bit and then once you get into the kennel area here there's some crisscross uh, lighting as such uh, including that one there there's light in there uh, and lighting down towards the end as well so it uh, looks really good and uh, so that's how you would sort of do a flat roofed area because all the kennels you wouldn't put light to put lights in the kennels or skylights because you'd be worried that they'd get broken so what we'll do is just head outside and show you this and then we can uh, whoop, what I'll do is what should we just do here I don't know let's just leave that open at the moment while we're still planning what to do that I would also have a, like a, a loading area here of some sort in fact let's just put in what I would tend to do let's put a fancy uh, loading area to be honest yeah in fact what we'll do is I'll just go like that to like that so probably get that Ah, oh, that's interesting. Yes, because it does that. So I'll just put that fancy loading area in. What I might, right, what we could be good do is put some massive doors in here, because this would be a dinosaur loading day at Lay Bay. Right, let's just put some. What I'll do is we'll put some fancy bits there, and we'll bring it over there, put it there, and then we'll put the glass in because they open down the middle like so there we go some strong doors so we'll put strong doors in so you can now see the end product as such with the crisscross on the walking way so we don't I mean there is there is a building on the map which you cannot see but that makes a lot of sense to me uh, that to have these kennels behind here now what I haven't done yet there's an that the access there but uh, they haven't done any access to anywhere else and I would probably leave that I transport them out to make them contained uh, what we've got to look at when we come back to Sauna now is what we do with these there's a lookout tower over the far side here and a paddock uh, but we don't know what is in here we've got, a f we've got to have a good guess uh, but uh, I'm interested in doing this building first in the centre here because it's got a really cool roof different type of roof in fact now we've got this building finished and this it might actually be a bit longer I'll have to go and have a look at the the pictures as such but uh, this is actually uh, coming on very well now with the kennels in there so so what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to 
Isla Nublar and uh, to do some more of this uh, Pacacephalosaurus arena. So we'll nip over there now. Well, it's actually fun to see this uh, back in non uh, non shaders mode, and it does actually work because we're getting again we're getting 28 frames a second. Although uh, I won't go down here because there'll be loads of people, and I bet that will really hit my frames. But let's walk down Main Street, say hello to a few of you, and see who you are. Who's this? Oh wow, is that, is that sort of a hey? Oh, I need to put the F1 on. Who is this? Kango Range 127. Nice skin, that. That's really cool, isn't it? That one. Like that one. Uh, you might see, is that GT Hawk? How are you doing? Ancient Colboat. Uh, what down here? So it's still. Whoa, we had a bit of a glitch there. Hello, Mr. Stereotype Gamer. How the hell are you? And this uh, Pierre TV. Uh, so it still looks good, Main Street, even with the shaders removed, which is one of the things I really wanted to do in that. Hello, who's having a chat over here? Dirtmaster123 and Heli Trooper. There we go, Indominus Rex. I know you haven't, you haven't seen you guys in the street somewhere. Awesome Elephant 5, Diego 21, Glacier Chief. Hello there. Uh, Mates LP. Look at yourself. Oh, I'd say I haven't opened that, but uh, quite a few of us. Scop. Great Dino Hunter. MC Soldier. What are you talking? Oh, I didn't know you ended up talking. Heli Trooper again is over here. What's that mean? There's two of you now. You move CMJ, CJM, Monta Mob. So, uh, wait, who's the Iron Man, MC Soldier? So, there you go. We'll walk through here and down to the front again, see who else is here. In fact, you might be able to see your names better if I just fly. Nickelodeon. Hello, everybody. What are you doing up there? Now, how did you get Drake the Warrior <laughs> how did you get up there that is some going <laughs> well done that is some going uh, oh, wait. oh Alex cool God, there's lots of you here you need to change out maybe your skin has changed now it's for Christmas but hey what the hell right oh so it's yeah it's, it is hitting me frame rate one last sweep over here to see who's over here Who's in Margaritaville? Hello, Alejandro. Tornado Miner. Alejandro again, different one. But uh, hair, lots of hair there. 3D model, of course. Uh, hey, who's in, who's got, what are you doing in here? Dinotopia. And how did you, now that is something else. I don't know how you got in there. Uh, well, there we go. Right, let's nip outside here onto the promenade. Come past these shops and uh, we'll head out to our Pachycephalosaurus arena. As such, oh, two people over here now chatting away. Well, there were two people. Maybe there isn't. Crazy cool. Crazy cool. Yes, Crazy Kyle is still out here, aren't you? Right, let's go and do some more of this then. Because I did promise it in this episode. But uh, we do like to have a go around the town. Some things are growing there. Yeah, frame rates are right again, about 25 whilst recording. And uh, that was right, 95. You're still out here watching to see what I do. Thank you. Great videos. Go and check out Hallow's Right. He's building some different uh, pieces of uh, Jurassic World. So and I might, uh, the one he's done that I like is Treetop Gazers. Right, so here we are back at here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the steps there is the way the steps are going is absolutely perfect because it gives me more room in the back uh, because at the back here is the like the control room which overlooks uh, the area so I want to make sure it lights up in the dark as well I'm going to do that so what I'm going to do is spend a bit of time on the uh, the seating area carry on doing the seating all the way around and then once I've got that I need to work out where I can put some lighting in this in my, uh, which I need something like that there that'd be good wouldn't it hey yeah that'd be good so we'll just have to work that out with the with the uh, oh I should have some can't remember where it's gone oh yeah, I've got rid of that lighting oh there it is like great so what we're going to do is because the frames do start getting hit ooh, maybe I should do there there we go that's it yeah that's the way it works keep doing that as we go along 
I could actually do it probably on the outside rather than that bit like there and then I probably could put some light in yeah put some light in around the outside as it goes up like an arch as well that would be really cool in fact what I'm going to do is probably get rid of that again put that there like that and in fact what would be good is to put the light in just there on the outside because then it shines inside as well so maybe yeah like that as we go up there'll be like an archway going round right let me uh, play around with this and uh, I shall come back and put some lighting in here as well in each of the bays as such but uh, we'll see how we're going to do that right I'll do some more of the steps and shall come back so it's actually coming along quite nicely now I've done a like a steep area at the front and then I've got like the usual walkway area here which sort of walks around in fact what I'm going to do is move I moved the light there don't need the light there anymore because I've worked out that I can put it hidden here so it's sort of it's sort of part of a hey, well I thought I could do it hidden part of the walkway that's all right if it's part of the walkway I thought it was still the same never mind uh, yeah maybe there yeah part of the walkway to light it up and we have a good idea to put the steps back in uh, so these ones at the front are quite steep Ooh. you can see the frame rates it's sort of not like a uh, smooth frame rate to do so one two three ah that's slightly wrong up there look that's slightly different oh no just where it is of course that doesn't matter uh, put that in there oh was that right no that should be like that and then we'll put this here like so and then we just got to get it exactly uniform so if I then put that uh, it will be there like so I think that's about right let's just check it out sort of thing that goes along as we go along uh, oh just need to put the brick back in there to make it exactly the same yeah so that'll be the walkway lights oh so where do we go keep that going and I've just moved that to that side and then at the end I've started to put in the started to put in the glass at that end and not that end and uh, so now this is just working out exactly right I didn't want it to go all the way back there because I want to put like uh, the control area and something else at the back here so, so that's from based on another artist impression of the Pachycephalosaurus arena so I will now carry on as we are make sure I get that right does that go there on the end oh that goes on the end there that's all right yeah so we'll carry on and then we're cracking on with this which I'm really happy with and uh, hopefully what I'll do is now that before I come back I'll have the actual stepped area completely finished on that side but it is coming together it's gonna to be quite hard to put the roof on that's gonna be the thing I'm thinking about at the moment how, what sort of roof I'm gonna put on and how I am gonna do it so we'll work that out so how does it look now compared to the rest well got to be careful not to build it too high and uh, we never we never saw actual final representations all we saw was the roof uh, but so what I've decided to do is go along with the other artist impressions of the Pachycephalosaurus arena in terms of height uh, this is as high as the back wall is going to go and I've put the glass around the back as well it's uh, that sort of size arena would be well big enough for what the show is and uh, as you will see what I'm going to put at the back is some extra stuff so all the all the uh, literally if you're sitting up here this is be the top seats you can still see lots and lots what's going on uh, around the arena so it would be pretty good sh uh, viewing all the way around so what I'm going to do now is this is the last level here uh, so what I'm going, literally going to do now is the last level will all be this height uh, which is just about right so yeah that would be the final height so what I've got to do is fill it all in which will take me a few minutes and 
then I'll give you, I'm going to put an outline of what we're going to do at the back once it's finished. So uh, I'm just going to, every single brick on this building is going in uh, on its own. Just wanted to show you lighting while it's dark. I've put in lighting round here. I'm, there's going to be a pathway or something around the back here, which I'm done. And uh, it does look quite good at night as well. Don't want to, it's quite good to put the sandstone that uh, you can literally light under here. And then it lights up this particular bit as well. So it's really cool. So what I'll do is I will now finish off this. Oh, no, not like that. I won't. Uh, yeah, we'll finish off this and then we'll come back and show you how it's going to finish up for this episode. Well, welcome back guys and girls. Uh, I've, uh, I've done enough now. <laughs> uh, getting to the end of the day and I just wanted to sh start showing you what was going to be up on top as well. So the main uh, vista area is this area here. However, then there'll be this like viewing area stroke control room which i was just sort of doing and putting in i do apologize about my voice i lost my voice last thursday and it hasn't come back and went out sunday evening after cheering my team on as i said so there we go that's the way it works so do apologize about that uh, this is a low roof i want to have the glass at the back as well so uh might be a balcony at the back so and then I might do what I might do is just some sort of area to here really I haven't decided it might be lower or higher because what I've got to do is when these are going to be slightly higher uh, the pointy bits come down so they have to be tied to something and I worked out that probably there would be something here and here which would be tied tied them down in terms of that so it will I know what I've got in my mind so it might not look exactly how it's going to end up as you know from my building uh, but we will have something which will be very much like the clips you've seen but also my own putting my own stamp on it really as you can see now oh. yeah I need that to point out over the top uh, I'm still working on how we're going to do the the white and it is white but uh, I'm sure I will get that in between now and the next video because the next video we're going to have to start putting it on uh, so the only thing is now is there's not much else to do really on this I was just trying to work out how to do the glass but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do blocks instead might be easier to do that and I've still been toying with the idea of bringing this to round about here in an archway so if we were to do that I would have to bring almost like like that and then it sort of comes out at two keep with that pattern there see uh, probably one two and then one more and then come out on the next one oh like so and that wasn't supposed to happen put that it's going to be a floor in here anyway yeah so that comes out again oh is that yes look that's still curving round that's what I wanted to do really, make it curve. So the best way to do that is one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a bit more, so that comes out. So right, that needs to come out two more, and this will need to come out two more as well. That's what happens when you get to a certain point. And this might be just like a high rise area now I think for viewing yeah that's going to be sort of a almost like a top bit yeah that's more like it, isn't it and then finish off there that's yeah that'll be just about right so some of it is going to be like a 
that main bit's going to have a proper area, but this is probably going to be like a a raised area as such. But let's just have a look at that. Might have to redesign the back of it as well. Yes, that's absolutely fine. So I wanted the contrast to the yellow, so that's going to be good, and that's going to be like the general area, and then that area as well. Right, and that is it, boys and girls. Everybody else, uh, we are. We'll be back soon for another episode. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you very much for your continued kind comments. And we'll be back again in a few days with another episode of our Jurassic Craft 2 Isla Nublar Isla Sauna. Thank you very much indeed. Please share. Please uh, share on Twitter. Share on uh, Facebook. Share on Google+. Thank you very much indeed and bye-bye all.